got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Yeah. But for a start show, now I don't like to sound like a broken record, but you can always support the twins at officialhorsetwins.com. Pick you out a picture of a t-shirt, hat, some bird products, maybe a white privilege card, maybe the official race card. We got some new shows coming. We coming to Texas. We coming to California. We coming to Indiana. We coming to Wicom. <laughs> Who else we going? Going to California. We, I already told him that. We coming to Indiana. Wisconsin, yeah. HawksTwinsTour.com. Merchandise. OfficialHawksTwins.com. All right. Yeah, I already told him that, man. You told me to speed it up, and I speed it up, and you you prolong this shit. You tell him the damn discount code? They already know where to go to OfficialHawksTwins.com. You tell him the discount code. Oh, yeah. Use discount code Delta. Yes, spell D E L T A. I give. T- we both gonna give you two hundred percent off your purchase. Yeah. All right. I mean, overall, over time, society progresses forward. You know why? Cause the white man. <laughs> if it wasn't for the white man, we'd be screwed. They care what you but I'm about. not saying the white man is perfect. The white man made a whole lot of mistakes. One mistake was bringing all these black people here. Now y'all got to live with them. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all's fault. Stop complaining. <laughs> Y'all brought us here. <laughs> hey, Kel, what's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I mean, there's some fucked up jokes you saying. Y'all stop complaining about black liberals. Blame your ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kev, man, those, those some messed up jokes. No, I'm just letting, you know, y'all, I mean, yeah, it's y'all's ancestors' fault. Y'all should have never brought us here, man. Y'all be living in a white paradise. Y'all y'all was cheap. Y'all wanted cheap labor. <laughs> now you got to pay for the consequences. <laughs> man, I'm leaving. Hey, where you going, man? I ain't going to take no part in this I'm just saying about the stories. Right, we, hey, we bought, this will all make sense after the stories we're going to talk about today. No, right just, now, it sounds like I'm Uncle Tom that I'm cooning. I might be cooning a little bit, <laughs> but I'm cooning for a reason hey, Kev, because Kev. it's setting up the stories we're about to talk about. Kevin, Kevin. What? Let's get serious on this. Y'all hear that? Stop telling them racist jokes. Let's stop all Only this. white people tell jokes like that. <laughs> Well, Jesse tell him so. <laughs> Jesse Lee Pick. <laughs> Can't be so, so associated with Jesse. <laughs> All right, Kev, let's Jesse, get serious. Jesse Crane. Jesse be wildin'. All right, yeah. All right. All right let's get White serious. History Month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesse, Jesse be going. But anyway. All right, let's get serious on this. <clears throat> yeah. No more coon jokes. No more coon jokes. All right, look here. Let me ask you this, white people. What are we going to do about these niggas? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we got to start this video. This is crazy. I ain't starting shit over. This is 100% authentic. <laughs> this is First Amendment right here, baby. This is freedom of speech. No, I was just joking. That was a bad joke. Yeah. But uh, but that gonna... joke, even though it was a horrible joke, is a... It was a terrible joke. That joke's going to make a lot of sense in a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm not going to explain it. This happened down in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Check this video out. Yeah, it's just going to blow yes, your the white mind. <laughs> here has looked into these allegations and says it has taken action. Still, parent Kyla Posey says she can't believe a principal thought separating students according to race was a good idea. We lost sleep trying to figure out, like, why would a person do this? Kyla Posey says she was stunned when she learned about classes segregated by race at Mary Lynn Elementary last year, a practice she says was put in place and condoned by Principal Sharon Briscoe. First, it was just disbelief that I was having this conversation in 2020 with a person that looks just like me, a black woman. It's segregating classrooms. You cannot segregate classrooms. It's, you can't do it. 
Posey says she found out the school was putting black students in two separate classes with two separate teachers. The white kids were placed in six classes with six different teachers. The parent says she found this out when she let Briscoe know she wanted her child placed in the classroom of a teacher she thought would be a good fit. Posey says the principal said that wouldn't work. She said that that's not one of the black classes. And I immediately said, what does that mean? Um, I was confused. I asked for more clarification. On, I was like, we have those in the school? Color classes. And she proceeded to say that, yes, I have decided that um, I'm going to place all of the black students in two classes. Posey says she insisted her child be placed in a class with white students. She says Briscoe explained her child would be isolated. And I explained to her she shouldn't be isolated or punished because I'm unwilling to go along with your illegal and unethical practice. The Posey's recorded a call with an assistant principal where they complained about the segregated classes. The administrator confirmed it was the principal's decision and seemed to offer an explanation why the classes were set up this way. <laughs> Kyla Posey has filed this discrimination complaint with the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights. Her attorney, Sharice Shields, says what's going on at Mary Lynn is a violation of Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 says that you cannot uh, treat one group of people differently based upon race, and that is what is going on at Mary Lynn. See, I told you. Told you jokes could make sense. <laughs> What are we going to do about these colored folks, man? <laughs> <laughs> they doing it to themselves, man. And this, and they said there's six, two classrooms for black kids and there's six classrooms for the white kids. So this is not like an all-black area where all the, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This is primarily a white area because there's six classrooms full of white kids. That's a good so, point. So, and, and there's, and in this white area, you have a black principal, and this is what you do? Yeah. I mean, Maybe y'all been better off getting a white principal. <laughs> <laughs> matter, matter of fact, you've been better off selecting a principal that's not racist. It has nothing to do with skin color. You could, I couldn't say it no better than that, man. It was beautiful what you said. Uh, say that one more time, man. I already forgot it. <laughs> but I am the brains of this operation. Look, no, hey man, you walk in at school, man. Colored classroom only. <laughs> <laughs> White kids only. Colored only fountain water drink. <laughs> I bet y'all got signs of General Lee. If a black person gets lost, he's got a sign him saying, go back where you came from. <laughs> Your classroom's over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like y'all got some Southern pride going in that school. What? I mean, what is y'all's uh, what is y'all school flag? The rubber flag? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your mascot, General Lee? What's your, what's your mascot name, Rebels? <laughs> Y'all crazy as hell, and a black woman's doing this. Now, <clears throat> if this was a white woman, this would be front-page news yeah. everywhere. But because yeah. it's black woman, they get a pass. It's almost like it's, you know what it feels like? It's like It feels like there's people above us, right? It's like the elites, and they're just pulling the strings. Like they're actually manipulating people of color just to stay stupid. Like, they don't want them to succeed. Why would anybody, white, brown, and everybody in between, why would y'all even let something like this happen at a yeah. school, an elementary school? Yeah, this is an elementary school. You starting them off right, just creating racist. I, I'm just dumbfounded. And it's like, hey, like, you know, like, what? You know what's cool? Those white kids is going to get a better education, I know. Why? Because there ain't going to be no distractions. <laughs> You get it all the black. I told you about them damn racist ass jokes you telling. Them white kids gonna be smart as shit. <laughs> that was that was. That I don't was. think I'm putting this video up. No, nah, that's no. I'm sorry. You're, ta you're taking it too far. No, nah, yeah, that was that was that was too far. I'm sorry. I'm just basing it on my. I shouldn't have said that. I'm just basing it on my real life experience growing up around black kids. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them was like that, man. Yeah, majority of them were, though. Yeah, like a lot. No, in, in all seriousness, like all my black friends that I grew up with through yeah. uh, elementary to high school, yeah, they're locked up. Majority of them prison. 
Yeah. Some of them getting out and going right back in. Yeah. Can't hack it. And you know, it just gets even worse. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to talk about white people now. Yeah. White liberals. I'm done talking about these colored people. They make it too easy, though, man. <laughs> Let me show you what's going on in Oregon. This is a white woman. <laughs> She's liberal as hell. <laughs> this ain't the black woman. This is a white woman. She should know better. <laughs> but she's a Democrat and we all know they're screwed. Oregon governor signs bill. Y'all don't get it, man. Y'all got higher IQs, man. What, what, what happened to her, man? <laughs> hey, let me read the title. Got the big brains and IQ, man. Look, still stupid. <laughs> look, Oregon governor signs bill suspending math reading requirements for high school graduates. Huh. Right? Let me go. Let me read this article to y'all. You gonna read it? Yeah. You can read, huh? Hey. You black though, man. You sure you can read? <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. up with you and these damn jokes today? No, man. They saying black people can't read, man. Who said that? That white woman, man. White people know everything, man. All right, let me read this. Please don't don't embarrass black people, man. You, make sure you read every word. No, I paid attention. Speak it from beginning to end. Don't be using that southern <laughs> Negro dialect, you guys. <laughs> Look, Governor Kate Brown. Kate Brown, the Oregon Democrat, signed a bill last month with little fanfare that drops the requirement that high school students prove proficiency in reading, writing, or math before graduation, the report said. Man, this, you almost sound white right there. <laughs> it gets even worse. I'm going to keep on reading. Now, the uh, communications director for the governor's office, he said that the new standards for graduation will help benefit the state's black, Latino, Latinx, indigenous, Asian, <laughs> Pacific Islander, tribal, and students of color. <laughs> this doesn't apply. Uh, I mean, this is done to help the minority students. I guess they're too <laughs> to learn how to re read, write, and map. I mean, why do you go to school? Do you go to school for three things? Yeah. To learn how to read. Yeah, do math. <laughs> to do math and to write. <laughs> if you can't do those three, you're a fucking vegetable. <laughs> but you can graduate high school and not be able to prove well, your proficiency in that? Chief, they can't help it. Joe Biden said these people can't use a computer. It's not their fault, man. They're just trying to make that life a little easier. Even Joe Biden knows this. <laughs> well, he said it. I hope y'all. He said, uh, what did he say? What did he say, Kevin? He said the, the black kids is just as smart <laughs> as the white kids. We, he said black people, most of them don't have a computer and don't know how to use it. They, he, that's what he said. And you know black people don't know how to get an ID, man. You know they can't read. Just go ahead and wave it. Cause it, yeah, Democrats <coughs> it just they just do not make any sense. Yeah, don't, I mean that's what I'm saying. Society over time progresses, progress it yeah. progresses. Yeah. But over the last decade, many facets in society are actually regressing. You know why? Because of progressives. Yeah, that's why they call it liberal, but they're, they're, there's nothing liberal about Democrats. They're just radical left wing. They like they're progressive, and progressive is just a euf euphemism for batshit crazy liberal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, like in Georgia, they came up with those new voting laws, right? Yeah, and they call it Jim Crow uh, 2.0. Yeah, what y'all call this? What do y'all call it? What y'all doing there in the Atlanta elementary school? What do y'all call that? And then and and then up in New York, they they pushing these mandates. It, there, it's not been signed a law where you have to have mm -hmm. a vaccine passport to even go to work, mm -hmm. go to a restaurant, eat. Yeah, Black people can't get an ID in Georgia, but if in New York, they can even go as far as provide passports. Well, they can't. Black, black people, prove their immunization of uh, no, COVID. No, you, ain't, you, you, you got this all wrong. Black people, they can't get IDs, don't know how to use a computer. They can't even find a place to go get the vaccine. So they're going to even segregate black people even more because the majority of blacks haven't got the vaccine. So these people ain't going to be able to travel. Yeah, they can't read. They can't that, use a computer. These people are just going to be just living in a fucking cage. <laughs> <laughs> if that goes through in New York City, that's what the mayor of New York yeah. wants to do. Yeah. Mandates. Yeah. I wish I wish, uh, I wish I could say this would be an eye opener for, uh, you know, people of color that were liberal. But no, nah, they agree with it. Yeah, and uh, if you're black and these are how white liberals see you, yeah, I mean they think you're 
They think you like yeah. Bubba off a of, uh, Forrest Gump. That's where they see you. <laughs> yeah. You a Bubba. <laughs> Talking about, about damn shrimping boats. <laughs> <laughs> shrimp sandwich, shrimp suit, shrimp borelage, shrimp so spaghetti. Shit, yeah, shit like that. I like some <laughs> shrimp sandwiches, shrimp gumbo. Shrimp. I won't get sucked off. <laughs> if y'all didn't understand his Negro Southern dialect, he said, I want to get sucked off. <laughs> That's how Bubba said he want to get sucked off. Yeah, but oh well. Uh, man, yeah. it's been a damn good show, man. I mean, you uh, there was some messed up jokes, but you see why we joke. <laughs> yeah. That's how liberals see. Blacks, that's how blacks see themselves. Blacks are totally in agreement with this. That's why I was saying those jokes, because I'm not making this shit up. That's exactly how they feel. Yeah. The like I said earlier, if that yeah. principle had been white, yeah. mainstream media would have been all over that story yeah. Story down there in Georgia. But because it's a black woman. Yeah. No, it's, it, it's, it's a damn shame, man. Dr. Martin Luther King lost his life fighting this, and y'all want to go back to it. It's yeah. a shame. Just batshit crazy. And it's, it's, it's the colored folks. They want it. It's the black people. Yeah. Not the Caucasians. The black people ain't fighting that uh, new when, building. When, when, when white people wanted to just go to school with white kids, you call them racist. Not, and and want to be with just whites, you call them racist. Blacks do it. Nah, that's helping blacks. It's ass backwards. Yeah. Ain't no, it ain't, I don't hear about like black families fighting that new bill in Oregon. Yeah. I mean, it's already happening in Baltimore. These kids are graduating. At, uh, they can't read. They're proficient yeah. in math sucks. And look how these kids are turning out. Yeah, if you're not, if you're not going to teach them how to write, read, yeah, and test proficient in, in mathematics, what are you going to teach them how to do? Lay bricks? Pick cotton? you setting them up to fail. School is supposed to prepare these kids to achieve the American dream. Mm -hmm. Instead, you're preparing these kids to be criminals. Yeah. But oh well, that's how y'all see life, and that's, that's why y'all will always be a slave. I don't care how many times y'all vote for a Democrat. I don't care how many civil rights bills they're passed. Black people, and the majority of you, unfortunately, will always be a slave because you're mentally enslaved. Yeah. I'm, free as, a, I'm free as a bird. Living the American dream. <laughs> that was a damn good show. Yeah. Mike Lindell, true patriot, he needs our help. Here's a man who started from nothing, built a great company, great products. I mean, you can buy pillows, towels. You can even buy some stuff for your pets, for your dog. I'm buying some stuff for my dog, Milo and Ruby. We support people that have a great product and supports our country. Yeah. And they support freedom of speech. Yeah, I don't, I don't support companies that's... Yeah. Just that don't support this country. Yeah, I don't support companies that don't value other people's opinions. And the left is trying to destroy this man because he has a different opinion. Yeah, just and, because he supported the yeah. president of yeah. the United States. So go to his website now. Yeah, right. Use discount code Hogs Twins. Yeah, get a huge discount and you'll be supporting a patriot. Yeah. Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab. Hit the links. Follow us on Telegram. Follow us on Rumble. And follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhorsetwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese Virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.